All right, today we're gonna try to record the AMD drop live and see if we can't share with you the actual process. All right, the queue opened, it opened really late, so let's go with this. I've got one open and then I'm gonna start opening my others. So we'll do a new unique tab and we're going to slowly do this so that we don't IP ban ourselves in the background. These are all variations of fake emails. I'll probably have to do some blurring here, but that's okay. So I'm going to not speedily open, just kind of take my time and open these. If you go too fast, you'll get an IP ban in the background. And bicycles. For the email, you can just use whatever fake email that's not actually being verified. And then if you scroll down, you see the QA ID. Uh, QID, they're different for each unique multi-login window. If you're just opening tabs in the same browser, they won't be unique and you'll actually not get unique uh, IDs. So it'll give you the same queue over and over again. And come on. There it went. <clears throat> and then I'll start stacking them, and I'm doing four in each browser instance. And fire hydrants, none, crosswalks. And then sometimes when you hit submit, there's this delay. You don't want to keep crushing submit or it's like it's trying to do a refresh and if you do too many refreshes or in too much succession, you're probably going to get a soft IP band in the background. No motorcycles, crosswalks. And submit. I'm not going super fast with this, but the queue's going to be short today because they didn't open the event till very late for some reason. Keep opening these things. There's another one. Um, and I just keep using variations of fake addresses, fake emails. Bunch of people messaging me. And then I'm just gonna stack these so that when it goes live, I'll be able to actually see each tab. And then it makes an alert when it goes into the store, a sound, so you'll know one of them went in. But then once the event goes live, I go through and I close all of these that have a long time at the bottom. Because you'll see the little man running across the screen. And if they're, say, like over 20, 25 minutes, there's no chance you're going to get in anyway. So you should close all the ones that are, I'd say, at least over 20 minutes. Um, this will be a pain to blur all these out since I have variations. And 
Again, don't crush these open in them. Kind of do it leisurely, but at a decent pace. If you just start spam opening, you're going to get an IP ban. Before, what I tried to do was I would... See, that's bicycles. I would open a whole bunch of them and then hit the refresh tab, and that did not work because that would cause a spam of connections and so basically it would IP soft ban and then I would get into the store and then it wouldn't let me cart which was super annoying keep opening the tabs keep opening the tabs now that you see the process, I'll cut, cut away and cut back to this. So this event only gave us about five minutes of opening tabs this time, and then it actually launched into the event. So then I've already closed like five. I might have only had 20 tabs, but look, I just got in one. So let's go see. It's my turn. Whoop. Now let's enlarge that, and let's go ahead and see if we can purchase something. Come on, add to cart, add to cart, let's go, let's go. I'm not a robot, let's add, baby. All right, all right, let's get it, let's get it. I'm using a new email that I just created today. Email, brand new email. Make sure to use your right phone number. See, let's see. Can we get it? Can we get it? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hit next. Come on. Hit next. Go. Come on. Come on. We're there. No. Again, no. Come on. Well, that's how quick it goes. I had it, I had it carded, and could not complete because the stock left. The 6800 was the one I was trying for. It aired out, and I did not get it. And it's still showing the 6700, but it won't let me cart. All right, so let's recap what happened during this drop. So normally AMD drops around 945, at least that's when the queue opens, anywhere between 945 and 950 Eastern Standard Time. Today it didn't open till closer till 9.55, almost 10 o'clock to be honest. And then usually the event kicks off at 10.05 Eastern and today it kicked off at 10.05. We had about five minutes, maybe six, seven minutes total to enter the queues. So we, as soon as it launched the queues, I started opening my tabs, just kind of at a nice pace. I would open one. I would click the multi-login extension up here in the top to open a new unique tab. And then I would just hit the letter A, which then takes me to the AMD site, and I would hit enter, and then I would open a new queue. And then I would hit, type in a fake email, 
And then for the fake email, I'm getting a lot of questions about the fake email part. At the very beginning, before you hit I am not a bot, you have to put in a fake email or just put in a real email and then put a bunch of variations after that. I personally use my real email and then before the at sign, each next time I would add a one, then a two, then a three. So if I was John Doe at gmail.com, I would use John Doe one at gmail.com. Then the next window, John Doe two at gmail.com, John Doe three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. AMD is not actually verifying that email against anything. So once you put in that email down below it, has the I am not a, a bot, I am a human, whatever, verify, you click that, and then hit submit, and that will check and, and then make sure that it's a legit email string, and then it would enter you into the queue. So this is how you get into multiple queues. So then next, I went ahead and I opened almost 20 tabs, and as you're, you're opening these things, eventually you'll open one and you can tell the events already started so when you're open if you start open them once the events already started they're all it's always going to say over an hour for any of the new ones you open but once it starts then you can go ahead and flip through all those tabs just slowly go through those tabs click on one if it says over 25 minutes wait you know instantly there's zero chance that one's going to get in so just close every tab if i had eight tabs open and then I clicked one and it said an hour, I would just hit X, close it out. If the next one said 40 minutes, I would probably just hit X, close it out until you get whatever's within that 25 minutes. You might have one, you might have five, whatever, and then try to reorganize your screen. So say these were both good times, I would put here and here. And then if I had a third one that was still a good time, I would just kind of lay them out like to where I could see them all. And then when it does actually go, it is your turn, it will make a sound, a unique sound, like a dinging sound. And then you gotta click on that screen and hit okay to go in to the store. And then I would blow it up. And then I'm already in the store and then I would do the normal process of add to cart. Once it adds to cart, then it'll show it on your little screen. Then you have to hit uh, verify again so that you're not a bot. And then click into your hit go to cart and then do your checkout as fast as possible. And today for me, I did get carted. I got in pretty quick. I got a 6,800 in the cart. I went through checkout. I'm using a credit card method. And while I'm doing the checkout, it wouldn't finish the checkout. So that means it ran out of stock while doing the checkout. And it was really laggy. Today's drop was really low stock. It was not a very good drop. It was a short queue. I have a feeling the stock was super low on this one, so don't get discouraged by this one. The previous one was really nice, so maybe next one will be better, or the one after that will be a big one, so just keep at it, keep trying this method. It does work. I'm getting plenty of comments on my previous video. This method does not work. It does work. This, this extension still works. The multi-login extension still works on Chrome. If you're using Firefox, the open container extension also still works. Let's go to it real quick. And this one's the Firefox version. So on Firefox, I set up a bunch of containers already on this one. And how you do that is once you install the multi-account containers, you can just go in and create these containers instead of doing just a click button like the uh, multi-login, I create a container for each one. So this is a unique ID and then I'll just go to AMD direct buy. Except that wasn't the good way to do it. So the better way would be just to have the direct buy ready, copied, and then go open a new container. See right here in the title bar, it says AMD one. That's that unique container. This one is not, this is the primary. It won't have one. If I want to open another one, I hit unique container, open a new container. There's AMD two, go to the AMD store, do your verification, put in your fake email, hit uh, not a bot, hit log in, and then get in place in line. Keep doing that over and over again, the same way that you do with the multi-login. Both of these methods are verified as still working as of 1028. Both still work. The only word of caution, before what I would do on multi-login, open a whole bunch of tabs, already have them on the store. When the event launched, I would go tab, refresh, tab, refresh, tab, refresh, and flip through them. That's gonna IP flag you. You're gonna get a soft ban. 
don't go that fast. Do not just rapidly open these things. But to be honest, now you might just be able to just go ahead, open a new container, open a new multi-login tab, go ahead and hit the email in there, click the uh, verification, and then do the captcha, go ahead right to the next, or hit submit, then go right to the next one and repeat. And it probably is gonna take long enough to do that captcha and the email part that it shouldn't flag you anyway. So you might be able to get 40, 50 tabs open this way by the time the event launches and then it's still randomized. So you might get it in right away and you might not, but more often than not, I've been able to get in this way and I think that this method is still tried and true and and feel free to make sure to leave me some feedback, leave me questions, leave me comments. I'm happy to engage, I'm happy to help you with what I know. So that's it, let's just cut to the outro.